days I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never trapped in space I won't stop till I hear him say up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just the sun coming up on the horizon i lose track of time yeah i move fast and climb a new class divine yeah true passion shines and i'm through passing time i choose stacking dimes you snooze half the time while i move passing by uh, i work hard each and every day i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Okay, well, we're going to try it this way, I guess. I'm going to join this stream private um, on the backup, and then I'll just upload it to my main channel. I'm doing it private because I'm not trying to stream it. I'm just trying to create the video to put on the channel so I can upload it and still hopefully get my revenue back up because I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. It doesn't make sense over an emoji like... People do the most horrendous things to me. The most horrendous things. And I don't go out striking them. Even though I could. I don't go out doing it because I don't want to hurt someone's income. Most knows this is my only income. And the only source of income to support my child. Y'all can complain all you want that, oh, she's using her child. Yes, because she depends on this. I am disabled. I have grandma seizures. I can't drive and to go to a regular job. And someone want to pay my Uber to a job back for it? I'll gladly do it. Do the best I can. I want to say thank you to those that are using the link as Amazon associate because y'all did help me get a little bit of revenue and I'm grateful for that. So thank you guys. It is making a difference. Uh, I, I was very shocked to go and see the difference. But the revenue I was able to make for that. So, thank you guys. I hope y'all keep doing that because it makes a huge difference. I'm still trying to figure out how to put the link in TikTok, but I don't think I know. I can't do it. You have to have a certain amount to do it. Anyways, so I was going to get into this. I'm just going to share this video. Muzz, I'm going to ask you once again, please remove that strike. I already won. It was already reversed. You and I both know that I didn't violate any copyright. I you and I both know that once it's reversed, you have to show paperwork in 10 days that you're suing me in court for copyright, and you know you're not doing that. You also know you could get in trouble for striking my channel and not giving me the legal information I need to pursue charges against you if I needed to. So that right there is a big violation that I can report, but I'm not unlike you. I know it's your main source of income, so I don't attack it. You don't think I could have gone after you, you struck you all the times you played my stuff? But I don't. I don't do this crap to people, especially for a false strike. It'd be different if I knew it was a legit strike and I was in the right. 
You 100% know it's false. You clearly never cared. I'm not any of these soccer accounts going around harassing you. I'm not doing these people mess with your family. Or, and I don't condone it. I've never told anyone to mess with your family. Um, I, I tell people not to speak about your ex in my chat out of respect. And you just let them go freely at the mouth about my daughter. You just don't care. And now you're doing this right before school starts. So that speaks volumes over the type of person you are of us. The membership's the only thing that keeps the channel going. So if anybody's wondering how you can help, that's the best way to help right now. Just like the stream, just watch the ads if there's ads that come to it. It's all it really did it already dropped like 150 bucks just because YouTube thinks I haven't tried to do streams in three days, even though I have. My channel was doing so good. I was getting so many more views from TikTok. And I was moving on to other content, trying. And then I find out that Muzz had done a stream that day. Making fun of me, donating for the homeless, and just repeating every lie and rumor that she knows are lies and rumors. But just repeating it to impress the crew of bullies that she wants to run with now. The same bullies that have gone after everyone that she claims she cared about. That she claims she would never interact with. They're so horrible. But yet did, does. Saying I cost her money. How in the heck have I ever cost you money? I've given money. How did I cost you money? Have I struck your channel? Have I kept you from working? Have I told everybody to unsub? No. Have I told someone to cancel their memberships? No. Nothing. You make no sense with what you're doing. It is so evil. And for all those running your mouth, again, this is a job. Content creator is a job in the year 2023. There's people on TikTok that this is their only income too. Cre going live. Entertaining people. Making content. Every time I hit the live button, I'm making content, people. And you're like, how dare you want people to support you? Where? Where did I say that? Because I asked for a strike to be removed so I could get back to work. So I could get back to making content. Because my revenue is what is affected. Not y'all's pockets. Are y'all paying revenue for Google Ads? No. Maybe y'all don't know how that works. Revenue is Google Ads. Ads in. When I make a stream and YouTube's like, hey, we're going to put ads into this. Which is where the revenue comes from. And anyone views the ad or clicks on the ad, we get revenue from it. It's a commission. That is not coming out of y'all's pockets. So for those like, I can't believe you're expecting money out of our pockets for this. Where? When I was first struck that night, people were like, what's your cash up? We'll see you. Is it okay to see your cash? Is your PayPal? And I just didn't answer because that's not the point. I just want to get back to making my content. I don't want my revenue dropping. It dropped so far. And I worked my butt off the past month to get it back up trying consistently to buy to go in new communities and new ways and, and new things and consistently i usually when i would get paid on 21st i would take a few days off i haven't even been able to do that in months because i've been trying to build it back up because it's important to me i take this serious i don't do this channel self to hurt everybody let's talk about it much why is this happening? Let's talk about it. I walked away because you kept disrespecting my boundaries. I have so many messages that prove you consistently kept doing things I asked you not to do. I, I ignored and I kept trying to make peace because all my friends were your friends now. Because you came to my channel and pretty much sniped everyone. So they all we were all tied together, unfortunately. I couldn't get away from you if I wanted to. So I kept it going for six months straight and me constantly overlooking what you've done you're like see what please unblock me on tiktok i promise i'll never do it again but then i did unblock you and you kept doing it again and i still kept ignoring it and kept trying to work past it for the sake of both of our channels and then i was fed up because then you i found out all the shit you're doing to jen you are going and getting all the things on her children 
all on her mother. You are passing around the documents on Jen's kids. When I told you straight up, I don't agree with that. You should not be. That is their trauma. And you're passing it around to others. Don't do that. I'll see you. I promise. I'm not going to pass. I was just, it just came with that. I'm never going to share it. But you were sharing it, weren't you? You were getting all these body cam things. Have I ever asked you for a body cam? No. Never asked you to get any body cam for anything. Cooch did, but y'all both were doing that. But whatever, that's y'all's business. I don't do that. I don't think we should get in body cam footage of each other and invading each other's privacy, especially with the kids, when the kids are there. And I told you that. Hell, I told Amsie that. When Amsie's like, do you see what do you think I should play her daughter's in the scene? I was like, can you see in here? Yeah, well, it's blurred up. She can hear. I was like, then I, I would say no because she's that's her pain she's going through. It got played anyways. What it, it is, what it is. Not my. I can't tell you how to run y'all's channel. I just, I don't condone. I'm not with it. But you started doing that for like what a month or two before we fell out. And I don't roll that way. I don't. I don't think that was cool. But you did it on your own. And then you were the ones recording all of Jen's streams. You and another person. And passing them on to all of us to cover. And you were in every stream just loving up every second of it. And then you contacted every step parent. Every parent, every step parent. You reached out to all of them. You tracked them all down. Just like you tracked down my sister and my son. You went tracking them all down. Again, we should not be doing that. The only family I've ever talked to are ones that reach out to me. And then I found out that you were befriending Jen. You were pulling a Napa. You used to be so mad how Napa, how dare Napa speak to Jen when she's going through this, playing with her mind, making her think she's actually her friend, but really she's just using her for content. Meanwhile, that's what you started doing, didn't you? You started going by the scenes, pretending to be Jen's friend and sister. She started letting up on you and saying, oh, I don't care. Mud's not a bad person. Mud's not sorry for everything I've done. And then feeding us stuff to go after her. And then you started withdrawing after you befriended Jen because then Jen laid off of your butt. And that was that was fine with you. As long as you weren't talking about it, you're cool with it. She could continue to double down on me and Generator and anyone else. As long as you're not mentioning you're good. Remember, she was constantly mentioning the funeral home thing. So you, you reached out and got to stop for that, protected your butt. Of course you did. So again, withdrawing from you. And then we started seeing you less and less and less. As I'm, you know, well, you weren't a mod, but thank God. But we started seeing you less and less and less in the channel. And you know what you would do? You would just hop in, see what she's got mental health. We shouldn't talk about this. See what we shouldn't talk about her home being so nasty. It's not her fault. Agree, disagree. So then I was already getting irritated with you because you were being hypocritical. And then you would just come in to say how wrong we were and you'd bounce right back out. Or you come in, you drop a grenade about running your mouth about me or generator or, or something and you take in the hall, but as if the whole chat set the chat on fire and then run away. You kept doing that for man, weeks before me and generator finally blew up at you. But you didn't tell it to everyone, did you? No, you didn't tell everyone how you were consistently defending Jen, telling us that we shouldn't have issues with her, what she done, because we don't know her real life, blah, 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 blah. And you can say all you want. That's not what I said. Yes, you did, because that guy, that kid, Jacob, he told us to share his post, and that's exactly what he said. And you're in the comments, amen. I've been saying this. I don't know why no one else sees it. I agree with everything you said. That is you justifying and verifying everything he said. And he said none of us should be offended by what she does or says, because we don't know her real life, therefore it doesn't affect us. So, yeah, me and him were, me and Jenna were mad as hell. She was accusing him of being PDF. She was accusing me of, of abusing my child, telling people to go pick up my daughter and bring them to her and all this other crap. Like, that's it. That was insanity. Talking about my daughter's body and the changes she's going through. She don't even know her. And you were telling us that we should ignore it. So, yeah, we blew up at you. And that was, a, that we were done. At that point, we were effing done. So then you figured out, oh, oh, there! I didn't know Seal was mad. I mean, how the hell did you not know? That is BS, and you know it. 
So then you purposely go to my TikTok. You were not blocked on Instagram or anywhere. You were um, blocked on everything. You made it a point to go to my TikTok and leave a comment. Well, I guess I'm not allowed to your chat anymore. Don't worry, Siwa. I'll see out of your, your guilt trip BS. I'll see out of your chat. You should tell Generate to apologize to me. I don't think that's right. You shouldn't let him talk to me like that. Some crap like that. And I was like, we are officially done. I am officially done with this. I blocked you. And I went and I sent a message to about six or seven, eight people. And said, hey, let you know I, I blocked her because I can't take it no more. She's consistently disrespecting my boundaries. She is constantly defending people who are saying horrible things about me and all my friends. She's acting like it's all okay. She's undermining everything we're going through. She's doing everything to save her butt, but not caring what we're all going through. I'm done. But y'all can stay. I want y'all to stay friends with both sides. I will never make y'all choose. I will never try to put y'all in the middle. I just want to act like it never happened and keep it moving. Who stuck to that and who did not? I wasn't in a dis. Told y'all don't want anybody doing discords, but did it anyways. I wasn't in discords. Watching all my enemies drag me and laughing like it was hilarious. So I see it's so funny. We're sitting here laughing at it. Well, I didn't think it was funny. That's I don't I don't think that's friendship, to be clear. I didn't think that was friendship. Encouraging it, thing it's hilarious at my expense. And then wonder why I didn't want to be in Discord. Are you kidding me? And this was on for months. But then find out you're in Discord running your mouth. Then find out you're in Discord and everybody else tell everybody about the injuries I had while telling me that you would never do that. But you did for no reason. I didn't do nothing to you. I just, but you, you were already sharing it. You just had to get it off your chest. But I'm supposed to ignore that too, right? That, that's a big, no, no big deal right there. That's another thing that none, none of my concern, huh? But you were the one that kept running your mouth the Discord to all my friends, my mods. And they said, Muzz, we don't want to hear it. We are not in the middle of this. Please stop putting us in. We don't want to see you talking crap about Siwa. But you kept on. And then if Draza was in the stream, you'd be in Draza. Draza, how dare you be in her stream right now? It's a drag stream. When it wasn't a drag stream. It's a drag stream. How dare you be in there? When he's like, look, I'm just hopping and saying hi. I don't know what's going on. I've been sick. You were the one forcing everyone to choose. Not me. Siwa wasn't the one going to everybody and leaving messages about how dare they be in there. And I'm disgusted with all you and... Uh, she's a piece of shit. And then I wasn't messaging anyone about you. I truly had left it alone and act like it never happened. But that wasn't good enough. That wasn't good enough. So when everybody walked, you swore that they were all, it's a mob mentality. They were all dragging you for no reason. You'd done nothing. You were innocent mice. Which is BS. They all walked on their own. I found out after the fact. I didn't. I found out when all of them said they already told you they were done. That had nothing to do with me either. Any reaching out to family, nothing to do with me. Any sock accounts mess with you, nothing to do with me. Any doxing of you, nothing to do with me. I did the other day. I said your first name, and that's it. Because I was truly trying to look up the copyrights. You get a copyright, no, and you didn't. You didn't have a copyright. So you lied to YouTube, which is a big problem, honestly. But again, unlike you, I don't want to affect anyone's income, so I'm not going to report it. I could strike you for every time you use me, but I'm not trying to do that. I want to be the better person. You don't. I guess you don't know what that, that's about. But you pulled a Napa because how dare I walk away from you, right? So then we all just agreed we were done, right? We did the stream because Irish and Violet wanted to clear up the thing about Cherie because you were constantly bringing up the Cherie and all that just right. Um, so they reached out to me for two weeks saying they want to do a stream. And I was like, I don't know. And maybe we shouldn't. Are you sure you want to do this? You sure you won't let it go? Like, it's getting worse. See what can we please? I was like, okay, well, my platform is y'all's platform. Let's do it. So we did a stream. Not to drag you. Even though you took it that way. If it was a drag, I wouldn't have let you up there. I wouldn't have let you up. I would have been nice to you having an honest conversation with you, being nice, hearing you out, asking you questions, answering your questions. That was your, that was a drag stream to you? But your parodies, mocking me, talking shit about me, talking shit about my daughter, assuming, making accusations, my daughter's starving, all, the, all that. That's that's not bullying or nothing, right? Oh, it's all good fun. Letting your mods dox me consistently, knowing the threes that I don't want to be doxed because safety, because I feel... Fear from men who have hurt me in my past. 
and I don't know what man's behind the scene or what they might do with the information you're giving out about me. Yeah, uh, but you keep playing with that, Muzz. I mean, you know in details how that felt it for me, and you play with that. That's, that's great. But anyways, after we did those streams where I got pee bomb because conveniently, everything was done and left alone. I was asked for 12 days by Pat. Please speak to her. Must wants to have a conversation with you. Must just wants to talk to you. Must just wants to you know that you're being lied to and everybody's in all that. And you're putting all these posts up. I'm on the edge and I'm about to share everything. Y'all better stop lying and see what's being lied to. Blah, 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 blah. And that went on for 12 days. So I was like, fine. I will talk to her, but I'm only, I'm recording her because I want my mom to hear everything she has to say. And I told two of them, Generator and Geneva. I'm only talking to her. Past the one that told them I was going to talk to you. I was like, look, don't be mad. I'm only talking to find out what she, what her story is what her justification is for the things she's done, and what her plans are to do next to everyone. You knew, you told me to go back to everybody and confront everyone by what you told me. So you being upset that it was recorded, I don't understand. I really don't. It was the same thing. I do understand you being upset if it was released on YouTube because I had never planned for that myself. Never planned for that myself. Here, I'm going to light you real quick, Muzz. I'm going to light you real quick. To explain to you how much I tried to refrain from where it went to. Oh crap, I don't want you to so I want anybody to see something. Screw it. Give me a second. Let me tell you how many times I delayed playing that recording. I meant to scroll back quite a bit, so give me a minute. Now I'm not gonna read the other person's questions out uh, comments out of respect. But I am going to be reading mine. Let's see here. And keep in mind, after that stream, you started consistently doing streams on your Instagram when your mouth about me and all my friends. Consistently. Give me one second. But then say so you want us to leave you alone. Well, why were you on your screw on your mouth so much? And I don't even like the stuff you said was just too far. About people that were not messing with you. No one was talking about you. No one. We weren't doing shit behind the scenes to you. I sure the hell wasn't. I sure the hell wasn't. Must create an IG account and post it all of our shit. Okay, this comment I got. I said, well, that's most likely Napper, even Maria and them. Every time they would get mad, they would do those fake accounts and send requests to everyone on my side. It's usually my family members' address or my full name. Then everybody, then everything possible beyond it. She's probably my DMs, but I haven't looked in weeks. That's what I was being told about you. Um, and I was like, I don't think it's her. I think it might be Napper, but clearly it was you. No, that. Uh, so I was asked about going in on you, you know. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. This is another time. This is going back to June 23rd. I'm being asked to speak about you or to clear something up. If she went to the other side, I'm going live soon with the whole phone call and all the hundreds of screenshots showed her fighting with y'all. Nothing to do with y'all fucking me over except one. The rest were not eye-opening proof of anything. Talk about all your screenshots that you claimed that you showed me, and I didn't care about any of it. I said, none of us are even effing with her. I said, well, I will address her and give her a warning that if she says anything else about you while you're going through chemo and a lot of us are hurting, I will do a stream with everyone to defend themselves because her lies, because she's inciting people to call on you. So don't give a warning. You know if we do that, she will give everything to Brooke and Maria. They are making life a hell as it is without Muzz's help. I don't want everyone to be told the lie she told me and have to have her with them. If it can be avoided, I would like that. I never threaten her with this, but I will. I didn't want this phone call out ever, but I guess it's too late and people now know. I didn't record it to do a stream. I recorded it just so everyone could hear what she said had planned and etc. I don't want to upset anyone, truly. I just think we can try another way one more time. 
We all know the phone call happened, of course, but she doesn't know I recorded it yet and played it for everyone. I want to say I had the call then. I could just say, Muzz, if you can't stop lying on all my mods and friends and calling them horrific names and trying to get people arrested and calling people P-words, etc., I will have a live and prove the opposite because that's not going to work. That's not fair. Nobody's even messing with you anymore. I sent you an hour of the phone call, by the way, with the parts about what you asked, especially about Brooke's kid and saying there's no proof. She said everyone else said it happened and that they witnessed you admit it, but they all told me the opposite. So it proves it's a lie. Was that not what you wanted? I don't want to be up, you to be upset. I'm trying to avoid World War III for everyone involved because everything she gave me, she's going to give everyone else. The only thing she had on me was my injury that she already outed. But then the shit she says about Violet and Kirsten and Jarl's own cooch and you and Shyla will all go to them if we do the phone call. I don't have anything I could send her. I will go ahead. Oh, wait, that's enough. Um, about Napa. Let's see. Probably later tonight, I'll be live. I have a pride event I got to get ready for and go to, but I'll be doing one soon. I'm going to go live and cuss her ass out for what she's doing to you and the others. Then cuss her out for lying on my name. Then tell her she doesn't shut the F up. I'm doing a whole expose on her, and it will not be good because I will hold an open panel to let any of y'all tell the truth about her lies. That's to talk about my mods, by the way. I swear if she keeps up, it's going to get really bad. Then she'll regret it. Send clicks to my email, blah, blah, blah. No rush. Let's see. Um... I don't look at anybody that tags me. I don't know anything about the channel, but tagging me in post with those assholes already has me pissed off because Muzz, you were tagging me on community tab and tagging my enemies. I don't want to be anywhere near them. And you know that. So you were fucking with me. Um, I'm still out in the town waiting for a ride home. I've been dancing for hours. I can't do a stream tonight. Uh, I was being told you were doing a stream and I was like, just please stop watching. Um, do, 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 do. You can't be serious right now. Oh man, she has no idea how bad she effed up. And Muzz is doing this to get more views and more money. I knew she was going to do this eventually, but I was trying to withhold as long as we could. I'm not shocked at that part at all. How How is that going to work with Cooch now that Muzz is with, all, with them too? Is she still going to be cool with them and hang out with them though? Cooch needs to know I'm going to be playing that call. Dear my members only stream. See, I was trying to warn her. She needs to hear what's on it before I take it public outside of members only. So tell her to be ready for a members only tomorrow. When it's monetized, I'll make it public or we can do a second stream with it. So for Cooch to even try to go around and say I wasn't trying to warn her and I didn't take her feelings into consideration all that, I truly thought that she was going to be aware of it. And I was truly trying to warn her and said she should listen to everything in it first before it goes public. I said, oh, wow, they run in my chat and tell me not to mention blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not about you. She was kissing Brooke's ass while in Maria's. They were making apologies less than a month ago. I was sent the screenshots. That's why I don't trust her anymore. I'll be trying for a day. If not, I'll do early night. Um, while they do the most disgusting things to the rest of us, I will, never, I will never act like that to someone that doesn't, sorry, that does that shit that they do. There's no breaks with them. All like anyone is afraid or of her timid ass. She said over and over she would never be in there. Yet there she was. What do you think we should do? People need to hear our anger and hurt from her. But I also will be doing members only live. Should we do some of the phone call on public than the rest of the members? Or what? I know she's going to release a bunch more about me, but there's nothing I'm worried about. Well, I don't know where those parts are. I'd have to listen to three hours of the phone call and write down timestamps and I can't. So I can just play the older live where she came up and cussed Napa out and said she never would go over there. I will play that call on members only, but still fast forward that part. And I don't think she talked about Lala. I'm going to play her cussing out Napa. but shows how unhinged she is. It's because I just made live. She's going to flip out. I hope y'all record it. There's a screenshot of a DM being shared. Something about you were going to post a child. It's being posted. It was sent to me via email. I know you were upset beyond belief when your whole family is being shared. And you were saying you're about to post their post theirs if it doesn't stop. Can I clear that up that it wasn't about Brooks? I'm fucking done with Cooch. I didn't want her in my private stream because of it was very personal and private info. She was hanging out with the biggest enemies and monsters. Whether to keep peace or not, I usually block right away. I wasn't going to have her in there while we all heard that for the first time. But I said I would send her the clips about her. But she keeps coming at me sideways and it's effed up. There would have been no trust issues if that wasn't happening. 
I have a good reason not to have her in the private stream yard where Must said the shit, but you know I wasn't going to keep it from her. I'm done talking to Cooch. She's acting like I have no reason to feel unsafe. It didn't happen for no reason, but again, I want her to know I never said I would record everything. Oh, wait. I want her to know I said I would record everything and send it to her. I didn't do anything to fuck Cooch over, nothing, and I didn't fucking know everyone got her DMs till it was out in midstream. The call happened after that. She wants to be enemy, so just forget it. I will play the whole thing tomorrow. You just want to listen to it? I'm playing the rest. Hell, I will play it now if you need me to. We knew they were going to do the streams to defend her. It was always going to happen this way. Do you want me to delete the phone call altogether? If you regret it, I will. I don't want anything getting worse. That's honestly why I was trying not to go this route. Because I knew they'd all come out in spades to help her. Um, give me a second. Oh, man. People are just so mean. People are mean, mean, mean for literally no reason. Reason, sorry. Thanks, Buzz. I, I really appreciate everything you're doing. You're just such a sweetheart, I must admit. I don't know why I ever got upset. Anyways. I want to play it. They will come at me no matter what. I only refrained all this time because I was trying to avoid what's happening now with those psychos helping her attack us all. Let me look. Let me see what else there is where I said I didn't want to do this. Let me scroll back up because my, this went on for months of me saying, no, let's not play it. No, we shouldn't do anything against her. No, let's just let it go. It's not that it's not worth it. Let me see. The things that she claims are asinine, but I know she will have all of them there to try. Oh, that's about Momo. A second. I'm really just trying to show Muzz that I went so long trying to keep this from out. Let's see. It's about something none of your business. Oh, here's about the phone call. Take Cooch out of the mix for being invited to the stream. She has Brooke, Yahoo, Maria, and Anne in her chats. F that. I will not be interacting with her while she's doing that. Obviously, Brooke's trying to get me arrested over multiple things and effing with my daughter's life. It's not enough proof. She, If that's not enough proof that she's evil as F. I can't do it tonight, though. I can't stay awake much longer. Um, I can't wait to read you all everything Momo put in the paper. Oh, that's something else. Let's see. Any chance we could get a private stream yard going? I need everyone there. Okay, we got, we got before that, even. Let's see, let's see. No. I mean, Muzz, you really want to help people that want to get custody of my daughter to my ex-husband to knowing what he's done? Really? That's the levels you're at? Makes no sense. 
You are, I mean, I just don't know what happened to you. Like, you do understand I'm not the one that does all this other shit to you, right? You do get that, right? Oh, it's simply an emoji and you lose your mind over it. Sorry, I'm looking for my messages. Oh, here we are. Um, I don't want the phone call released. I don't want her sending everything to the others. And that will be uh, what will make her go over there. I told you I don't want that put out there. I have no problem with everyone responding to the shit said in the call. Because I told her I was going to be going to y'all and asking. Also, did you post the, the DMs I sent of hers? She confronted me about it. Bro, you had to promise me, or but you had to promise me you're not going to re record it and release it. Please. I have enough heat and hate with Muzz. Uh, enough heat and hate, and Muzz joining up will go so much worse for all of us. I just don't get why anyone needs the phone call if no one's planning to release it. We already know everything she said, and what video is she putting out now? I haven't seen anything geared towards any of us so far. I saw all the messages. This is getting insane. I wasn't the one trash talking her and calling her names and talking about her parenting and judging her so harshly. Oh, that's going to be about someone else. Oh, I know what it is. Anyways, that's enough for that. I'm just letting you know, Muzz. Again, I try to keep this from you for a very long time. This post. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Anyways, Muzz, please just take that strike off. I've not struck you. I mean, I could go right now on my backup and go strike you three times and ruin it, but I don't want to do that. Please just fix it. YouTube already said I won. The appeals already gone through. They already returned it back to you and said you got to prove within 10 days that you're going legal on me, which we know you're not because what I used was completely fair use. You know it and I know it. If you would agree to take that strike off, I would agree to not use it anymore. And I'll say this publicly now. Not, I mean, I don't think you're going to care anyways. I mean, if not, then I'm just going to go back to using it and doing right back to what I was. But the reason all this has happened, you need to understand. Why don't you take some reflection about why this has gone like it is? 
Are am I the one on Instagram doing streams about you every day and all your mods? No. Am I the one put let people in the chat dox your name? No. Am I the one letting people come in there that have done horrible things to you and just say the most horrendous ratchet things about you, your family, your brothers, your siblings, and all that? No. Am I the one helping people to try to get custody of a child that you care about to an abusive man? No. You're doing all that. Am I the one doing parodies about you? No. Am I the one making fun of the harsh times that you've been through? No. The only reason I brought up the thing about the dogs is because you, the, what you said about Violet. And all I was trying to prove about, you can't judge her for that. You've been in the same type of situation. That's it. You, why are you acting like this came out of nowhere and I, we have no right to respond? Do you know why that stream happened two nights ago? Because you were doing a stream during the day uh, mocking about the homeless thing and the tent and the blankets and all that jazz. And running your mouth about my daughter again and acting like parodies, like she's starving and all. Doing everything they do that used to be so against. It'd be like, if I had to hear one more thing about potato, but here you are. Take the torch. So I was doing a stream showing that that what happened when you were in the admitted to the hospital uh, was not a drag stream on you. It was an open conversation where me and Star absolutely had your back and we shouldn't have. We were lied to. We st I still to this day don't understand fully what happened. I don't watch t Spiracy. I don't watch Virgo. I have no idea what proof they have. I just, I will not watch the can't. I can't go there. But I'm sure they have tons of proof. But am I going to go link up with them and now just repeat all the shit they've said about you? No. That happened before I was even around. I don't know the details of it. That is either here nor there why I have issues with you now. You know back then I told you I don't agree with what you did with Will. You know back then I told you I don't agree with what you did with the funeral home. You know back then I told you I didn't agree with you digging up all the info on people. You know that. That is not something I've ever mentioned words with you about publicly or privately. So I don't know why I needed to continue to go on and say how wrong it is what you did real. From what you told me, it looked like it matched up to that. But little did I know you had edited that group chat. You edited parts out of it. But because I trust you, you know, that's what I got. That's what me and Star got. They thought we were horrible people not listening real when... I, with that video I saw, it matched up what you said. But again, you took parts out of it. But whatever. But it do, are all your enemies in my chat daily fucking with you? No. There's not a single person in my chat doxing you either. I'm not used to that picture I used. was a, a picture you posted and tagged me in. It wasn't a picture that the camera slick that you hate so much that literally makes you shake with anxiety every time you see it. You don't think I could have done that to you? I'm not an evil person. I know you're trying to paint me that now because I don't want anything to do with you. But you know better, Buzz. I could do so much worse to you, but I don't want to hurt you. I want to defend ourselves, and I want to show the history, and I want to just call it out the way it is. I don't want to hurt you on those low levels, though. When I found out you said you were at the edge, which that went away pretty fast, must say, um... We were dropping the hotline. I shared a private experience about how when I went through, I had to call the hotline, how much it helped me. And, and like, there's no shame in it. And all, like, honestly trying to come at you at, at a real level to say that, like, there's nothing wrong if you feel that way and you're not alone. And, you know, there's ways to get help. And you can vent to this guy. You don't tell your parents nothing. You can vent to it, the hotline and no one will ever know what you say. And then when you're done, you'll feel so much better. But you think I deserve this? If you leave that strike up, you prove to everybody what everybody said. You prove how you feel about children, about how you don't care. You claim you care, but you obviously don't. Because you should take that strike off again. YouTube has already said, let me go to it. Where you did strike me. Next steps. Counter notification forwarded. It says... The content owner removed your who removed your video has 10 U.S. business days to review your counter notification. If they don't provide proof of a court action against you, your video will be reinstated. I just want it gone so I can get back to work. I'm not asking for people to give me money. I just want to get back to work and get my revenue back up. It drops so much every day I miss. I just want to put it back up. 
so I can work. That's it. I, I, I worked so hard to get my revenue back up. And you, you're just going to take seven days worth, at, seven, ten days worth at least. And, you know, we get paid on the 21st month. It is the 10th right now. So you're, I'm going to get, I got, I think I got five days left for extreme. I'm going to get seven days to make up all that revenue I lost. I get seven days to make up two weeks worth of, worth of revenue if you keep it like this. I don't stand a chance. That's the check I get before school starts. If I got child support, this wouldn't be an issue. Man, you just got so mean. I said, I don't even want your dog to suffer, man. I just, what happened to you? So, you can prove that whatever he says about you being a monster is a lie. And that you don't take up, go after people's channels. Because you get your feelings hurt. You could take down that strikes. I already won. And you know. You know I followed fair use. You know there was that picture with fair use completely. But if it hurts you that bad, I'll stop using it. But if you take that strike down. If you don't, I'm just going to keep using it. And you can just keep doing what you do. But it's fair use. I, I'm following the rules. I know the rules. You're new to YouTube. I'm not. Man, you just, wow. Remember how mad you used to be at Napa, how disgusted you were with her? You're doing everything she's doing it and more. She struck my channel twice for Gen 2. What I don't understand is that when she struck me, I still could stream and make money. But when you struck, I, I, I can't do anything for seven, like seven to ten days. And again, people in the bushes, this is a job. I pay a tax. I have a tax form I fill out. I have an EIN number. I have, like I said, I pay taxes. I get a check from the government. All that, like, well, not from the from Google AdSense. I'm hired by Google AdSense. I am self-employed, but I work through Google AdSense. Google, we work for Google, people. A content creator is a job in the year 2023. It is a source of income. And then I'm also an Amazon associate, Amazon influencer as well. Stop telling me to get a job. I've been trying. I can't go out and work a regular job outside the house like y'all can. Again, if y'all want to pay my Uber every day to work and back, I'll gladly fucking do it. Because I don't want to be in this house 24-7. I want to be out in a part of the world and working. I love it. And I, I have so many autoimmune diseases as well. Like grandma's, well the grandma's usually an autoimmune, but the Rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, endometriosis, all those are things I have. So there's days where I can't even move. Quit being so mean. I used to work my butt off from the 12 years old until a few years ago. I worked as much as I could. I love working. You think I enjoy not being able to drive anymore? Or like my hands cramping so bad just trying to text or to fill out a form online like it hurts so bad so this is the best i could do right now gosh y'all are gonna be so mean about this too on here you know it i'm just asking us to fix it i know she won't though. i don't think she's i don't think she's a person i thought all along I just want to thank those that did memberships because apparently that's the only thing I'm going to get paid for this next month. That sucks so bad. And it happened the same night I literally got robbed on the cab. Some kid, I'm thinking of kids, he took all Xbox stuff. Like they charged $68.88. How many, let me see how many times. Give me a second. Thank God I only had like 70 bucks. They couldn't take all that much. But that's 70 bucks I've been holding on to forever just to make sure I had enough to get groceries delivered.
Give me a second. I'm looking at my cash app. I think they hacked my daughter's Oculus or something because it was my Microsoft. I think they got but Xbox cash card, $68.88. That one went through. The next one, $68.88, didn't go through. Here, let's just look how, how far apart these were. View all the history. These all happened yesterday. Well, no, it says Saturday and yesterday. Oh, Saturday, 68.88 went through. The next one, 68.88 didn't go through. 68.88 didn't go through. Again, did it go through. Again, did it go through. And then I got a refund on two of them, but that's not still not the full amount back. Let's see the time frames this all happened. The one that went through happened at... 9.35 p.m. That one went through. 9.36, they tried it again. Denied. 9.37, tried it again. Denied. Um, 9.37, tried it again. Denied. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I think that's what I just did. 9.37, tried it again, denied. And then yesterday I got $30 back. But I, my card's locked. I don't even know if I could use it. But then they try to use it at some Miss Bill Info. I don't know what the heck that is. It says Miss Bill Info in Washington at 9.37. Try to use it. It says not enough cash. So that got denied. And I try to click on it. There's It gives me no information about what that is and then microsoft in redmond washington someone tried to use my card got denied that's at 9 37 as well and then I, I click on it it just says microsoft business does it does it tell me anything about I, I don't even know how they had what they got i don't know if it's through my microsoft account my daughter uses for Oculus. i don't know if it's my cash card they got i, I don't know but now it's locked and i'm afraid to use it And if I get a replacement, it's going to be two weeks. And then, so that happened that night. So I was already upset. And then Muzz does that. Like, are, are y'all the ones that are doing this shit? I mean, honestly, now I'm worried. Like, y'all are the ones doing it. Anyways, I'm going to get going. Muzz, I hope you do the right thing. I've never struck you. You know I could, but I don't, I don't want to go out your income. In fact, I try to help you think of ways to make money. You were going to leave the internet, and I begged you to stay and not give up. And this is what I get in return. When it was your birthday, I sent you 40 bucks for you. And then I sent you money to send everything to Cooch to rush ship money, the, the, her gifts to her, so she'd get it in time for her birthday. Because you didn't have enough money to ship it to her fast enough. And it was expensive from Canada to the U.S. I was like, how much is it? I'll pay for it. And I paid for it, and I gave you extra for your birthday. Before, when I paid for your membership to the channel, I gave you extra. So you, you said, oh, thank you. See, I couldn't afford dog food until you did that. I'm like, well, here, take some more. And I gave you more money. The least you can do is remove that strike. I'll not use that emoji if you do. Not, but... You got too many people gaslighting you and make you think you think what you did is the best thing ever. So I'm, I'm sure you won't. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, thinking something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing